Well, high clouds had stuck around all afternoon long, and we're seeing some breaks in those clouds to see some sunshine this evening. Uh, Mount Calm County in Stanton says it best. Those high wispy clouds allowing for a little bit of sun to peek through. It doesn't look great. You know, we're not seeing a ton of shadows or anything like that, but just seeing a little bit of sun is positive for mid February. Grand Rapids not seeing too much. We are actually seeing a little bit of the shadow start to creep through. Again, those high clouds are what we have. All the low clouds left early this morning. High clouds and low clouds will fill back in tonight. We'll see more and more cloud cover as we go throughout this evening. So across the southern portions, we're, not, we're only seeing those high clouds and they're struggling to pick up on the sensors. Temperatures in the upper 20s to low 30s across most of the area. And again, those high clouds allowing for us to see some sun, but Grand Rapids seeing some of the heavier cloud cover right now. So with the storm system moving in tonight, you can expect milder temperatures tomorrow. A really strong southwest wind already starting now will get stronger and stronger overnight, and that will influence the warmer temperatures going into tomorrow. And then we'll see rain since temperatures will be in the 40s. It'll potentially be heavy at times. Could even see a rumble of thunder possible with that rain moving in. But then Tuesday or Thursday morning, that's when we'll see a transition from rain to snow. And we do look to have a dry spell from that rain to snow transition before we see more and more snow Thursday afternoon. Now, on satellite radar, there's that big system up there to the north of us in the UP, Lake Superior, northern portions of Lake Michigan. That system is going to continue to move off to the north and east, and it'll allow for a lot of moisture to build into our area with another system connecting over the next several hours. Now, lows tonight are going to be fairly early in the evening. These will be about 9, 10 o'clock this evening, uh, 24 degrees in Grand Rapids, and then temperatures are only going to warm up. Benton Harbor not getting out of the 30s this evening. And then that warm front really pushes up all that warmer air. At noon tomorrow, we can expect some widespread sprinkles to be factored into our forecast, and then we'll see more widespread rain in the afternoon and evening hours. Some heavier bands starting to fill in there about the evening hours, especially north and west of Grand Rapids, but then we see more widespread throughout the evening hours. And then we'll see some mix and some snow flurries possible early in the day on Thursday, but we do look to have that system push off to the north and east. We'll have the cooler air and a strong north wind filter in Thursday morning, but then another low pressure system crawls into its way. Detroit looks to see a lot of snow here in Grand Rapids. We're right on the cusp of seeing that heavier and lighter snow once again, like the system we had seen a couple weeks ago. So we're still tracking it here, but we are looking to see some decent accumulations, at least over portions of West Michigan. Now, Winds, as I mentioned, going to be strong tomorrow morning out of the southwest, really driving up the warmer air gusts upwards of 35 to 40 miles per hour throughout the day on Wednesday into Thursday. So accumulations for rain just through early morning hours of Thursday. We can expect anywhere from a quarter of an inch to a half inch of rain across portions of West Michigan. Pretty significant downpours at times are possible. As for snow going into Thursday, we can expect the lighter portions to be off to the north and west simply because we're not going to see enough rain or snow with the first system that moves in. That second wave is going to be all snow and that one looks to be off to the south and east, which is why we're looking at heavier bands near the Indiana border and down towards mid Michigan and southeast Michigan as well. So on the full seven day planner, 47 degrees on Wednesday, falling temperatures all day Thursday. 33 is going to be what you see at when you wake up in the morning and then it falls all day down to the single digits Friday morning. We do see lake effect chances Friday and a weaker system Saturday, but just getting through the next 48 hours, it'll be busy with rain and then transitioning to some wet snow on Thursday.